what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got some good news here today regarding screen 5 its release and uh we now know who is going to be distributing this next screen project so spyglass media and so spyglass media group has apparently teamed up with paramount pictures they've joined forces and they're going to be co-producing uh this new screen movie we're going to be getting this comes to us from variety uh variety was the first person to report this so we know as of right now the only returning cast member is david arquette and we know that the movie will be directed by the radio not filmmakers uh, matt Benelli, open and tyler gillett and additional casting will be announced in the coming weeks, according to the reports here. And also what's going on is filming is set to start later this summer. Now, previously, like in like a press statement last month sometime, uh, we were told that it would be starting sometime in the fall. So I guess they're going to start trying to sh get it to shoot sooner. But late so late summer to me sounds like i don't know i want to say early august mid-august um the the latest i could see this starting the film would be september sometime but with them saying we're going to get additional casting to follow that's what i want to hone in on additional casting to follow i'm assuming they know I'm assuming with these reports, they're just going off of the assumption that we'll find out more, of course, as as that gets revealed in the coming weeks towards production, as we all already expected. But me personally, I think they have their cast locked down. I think the cast that they want to have involved with this project is locked in. The only thing that's really left to announce would be, of course, Nev Campbell returning to reprise her role as Sydney Prescott, Courtney Cox. Everybody, honestly, I feel is more eagerly waiting to hear if Hayden Pantier is going to be back as Kirby Reed. When Sydney gets announced, fine. When Gail Weathers gets announced, fine. People are still going to be waiting for that missing puzzle piece. The, the missing piece here for a lot of people is not Sydney and Gail. We feel like a lot of us, everyone for the most part, is pretty much under the impression those two characters will be back. We want to know 100% certain if we are going to be getting Hayden Pantier back in this movie with her reprising her role as Kirby because that's something that a lot of fans and a lot of people are constantly focusing on, theorizing, and it would be really interesting and exciting and it would be like just the biggest dream come true if we find out Hayden Pantier is coming back to reprise her role as Kirby. But also, I want to talk about the release date that they're looking for. So no specific date, but I did make a video mentioning what would be the best option for them to do in terms of release. When, we, when could we be expecting this film to come out? And it looks like they are going to be looking to release it sometime next year in 2021. Paramount Pictures will be responsible for the marketing and they will distribute the film worldwide. Uh in all media with select international territories and domestic pay one television being handled by spyglass so what i take what i what i'm looking forward to is seeing what they do there because again i made a video talking about what i feel would be the most effective the most effective thing that i think you could do marketing wise would be to release this movie around the time of the original screams 25th anniversary don't release it in april of 2021 if it happens i will st of course i'm still going to be more excited because we get to see the movie earlier but i'm thinking about long term if you're planning to have a return of profit and you want to have the the biggest smartest marketing scheme that any screen movie has had since the third film um i feel like going for the 25th anniversary of scream and honoring that would be the way to go and let's say we're still hopefully we're not but if we're still in a pandemic and things are easing up where things have become more easier to maintain and let's say cases are down we could have ghost face face mask marketing this film <laughs> uh that could be something that could get looked at maybe a lot of people would actually even show up to the premiere in face mask which could start a trend of people wearing ghost face face mask but i think that would be a pretty neat thing to see 
Also, again, I've made mention of re-releasing the old films in a collector's edition box set or independently with another collector's edition series because I believe they did have like a collector's edition or a collector series of DVDs. It'd be nice to see that kind of redone to promote and get people hyped for Screen 5 by re-releasing all the other four movies, maybe with some new commentary interviews or new interviews and commentary from the stars of these movies if, if that can all be arranged. Even if they're not returning in Scream 5, you know, like just the biggest marketing schemes I'm trying to think of here. Re-releasing the original four movies in a box set collection would obviously be the biggest thing. Ghost Face Face Mask, <laughs> that would be another one. And then also letting the cast members be present at uh, Comic-Con-like events. Just panels and where they get to answer questions, premiering the, premiering the trailer at a big event, hyping up the trailer being very interactive with your fans on social media social media is going to be a big advantage for screen five to do very well at the box office just like it is with any uh film social media does have an influence in terms of what people go out and see you can use social media to get your uh, message across and with the trends that recently happened over the past couple of months when screen five got announced i'd say using twitter instagram facebook everything social media wise would do nothing but help out the box office performance with screen five so i'd hope they release this movie around the time of christmas next year to line up with the 25th anniversary of the original movie make that a part of the marketing scheme i hope we get hayden pantier back to play kirby reed and going back to them talking about how we're going to be finding out more casting updates as the weeks go on with them planning to start shooting later this summer i expect we'll start seeing things come in maybe we don't we don't know we might get something tomorrow we might get something next week telling us that nev campbell's back hayden pantier's back courtney cox is back and then of course we'd be wanting to know who our new supporting cast members are We've already, I've made videos talking about this. A lot of people are under the impression that the people that the filmmakers are following on Twitter is a hint at who will be participating in the movie. A lot of people think we'll have Selena Gomez. A lot of people think we'll have uh, Cole Sprouse and Lily, Lily Reinhardt. If, if Lily Reinhardt is in it, I'd be more, out of all of them, I'd like to see Lily Reinhardt in it more. Selena Gomez would probably at best would be enough to kind of just get on more outside attention hey look selena gomez fan she's starring in this new screen movie and then of course because you know there's stands for every artist out there so selena gomez being in screen five would of course be very beneficial in terms of the box office uh performance in my honest opinion because selena gomez i i don't follow her that much i am a fan of her as a producer and what she's doing in the filmmaking industry and i like a couple of her songs and i'm well aware that she does have a following she does have a huge fan base so i'm pretty sure if you put well-known stars in this film that's not going to do anything but just help out with the box office well you would believe that would help out with the box office and then also wanted to just talk one final time about nev campbell coming back nev campbell honestly she I feel like she's she's at this point just egging us on. I feel like her role has already been cemented and maybe her and the filmmakers are in on this running gag because she keeps having interviews where she's just saying she's negotiating. We know you're negotiating. We want stop saying that. Just tell us if you're gonna be in it or not. I feel like at this point she's gonna be in it and she's just running running with this. Oh, we're in negotiations. I think the negotiations are done. I could be mistaken, but I think they're done and it's just a running gag until they make an official cast announcement with the official plot synopsis and the announced official release date with uh filming schedules and everything coming later this year and paramount pictures i know they're mostly known for for distributing a lot of the friday the 13th movies so they were the last people i would expect to see involved with a screen film this is very shocking to me but i'm i'm all for it i'm really excited i'm glad we're getting more things coming out about this project i can't wait to see what our new filmmakers bring to the table and how they honor the legacy of wes craven and whether or not this movie will be one of the better sequels we've gotten since Scream 2. Scream 3, lackluster. Scream 4 was okay. I'm hoping we get something that lives up to the hype 
of the first two movies but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe it's on all post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video